what's up, y'all? <clears throat> um, yeah, I want to let you guys know the love of my life got uh, got a couple nights ago. Hurts, hurts really bad. <clears throat> um, she was my twin sister. I loved her immensely. I never got to know how I feel about her. That's fucked up. I want her to know from the heavens above that I would have done anything for her. <clears throat> including things that I didn't agree with that she wanted done. Okay. Despite my feelings, despite how I felt, <clears throat> I would have given her the world. Literally. I, hey, you need money right now? I got it, but let me... Go print up some cards, and you got you you and I can run this booster draft, okay? Shit like that. Then we pull in money, and I chip her fifty percent of the profits right there on the spot. But they took her away from me before I could even meet her again. Let her know how I feel and all that other shit. Oh well, just life is the way that it is. Every day life of a serenio, another person dies. So Uma Thurman told me, pick somebody new. Well, I'm picking somebody new, Christian Stewart. The other sister, Christian Stewart. Christian Stewart, the other sister that I'd be willing to do anything in the world for. If she gets got, get back and fail, it's you. Do you get got? Then it's uh, Kat Von D. Because Jennifer is the type that could break a finger. And all of them are the type that could break a finger. Okay? Christian Stewart, I'm attracted to you because you got the military haircut. You're willing to take on the man role. That's why I'm interested in you. You're my sister. I can't date outside the family because I can't trust anybody outside the family. But family members, I can trust them. They're not going to hurt me. Except Uma Thurman. She crushed me, dude. She told me she whacked Jennifer. Because Jennifer was getting too predatorial. So she whacked her. And basically I had her go, uh, uh. Because she was getting stabbed up. Just the way it is. I've seen countless deaths. It's just something else for me to deal with. Oh well. Nobody cares. Nobody will care. Uma Thurman's last words to me before I walked away from her. I just want to make sure you're alright. But yeah, I'm alright. I'm hurting right now. Because, she, because I lost the most beautiful thing in the world and I lost it. Because I couldn't save its life. Because it wanted to be predatorial. See what I'm saying? When you get with me, don't be trying to get me in bed and shit. Alright, that's the quickest way for you to get fucking got. Plus, I ain't like that. My mama, Uma Thurman, even hears that somebody try to get me in bed with them, dude. She will fucking kill them with her click. I'm just... I'm beside myself. My own mom. Dude, that was her daughter. And, uh, fuck. I can't believe it. I can't believe Jennifer's gone. So, I'll move on. I'll find somebody new. Oh, well. If you think that I got an oh, well attitude, it's because I'm numb right now. I don't know how to respond. I don't know what to think. I don't know how to show emotion. It's part of my autism. Okay. Right now I'm thinking, oh, she's still here. I'm thinking, she cold dogging me. She be mean. No, she dead. That's the fact of the matter. Reality will sink in over the next week or so. That's when I'm going to need this counseling the most. Because right now it's still a fresh wound. That wound starts healing. Look out everybody. 
I'm going to be the biggest bitch in the world. And that wound starts healing. And Jennifer, if you are still alive, yeah, I'd give anything for you. I'd give anything to be with you. I would give up everything just to be with you. If you were homeless, I'd fucking lose my Halloween just to come stay with you, just to make sure you're all right. If you're still alive and you want to test that theory, fucking get a car. I know you got the money. Get a fucking car. Start living in your car and see if I don't fucking, and notify me you're living in your car. You're at this location. Don't be no, give me no twist. Again, let me come stay with you. No matter where you're at, I'll stay with you. If you're alive. All right. it's, it's pretty... Jennifer meant the world to me, dude. She was the first Hollywood celebrity that paid attention to me. That's why I hurt so much. There's healthy versions of Jennifer that are still alive. Girl, come be with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will turn your fucking life around for the better. Alright? You guys ain't fucking actresses or anything. You guys ain't nothing until I fucking turn you into an actress. Alright, and that's just, that's just the way it is. Let me, let me reminisce on my sister for a second, because this is my time. I always think of everybody else, put Jenga Jew out there, think of everybody else's feelings, and neglect my own. So let me tell you about my sister. I can already feel it clotting up in here, and fucking, I can feel the tears behind the eyes. Okay? My sister was a good person. She loved people. She did a lot for everybody. If you were homeless or broke, my sister was the kind that would walk up to you and say, Can I make a phone call for you? Can I get something for you from the corner store? Can I help you in any way, shape, or form? My sister was like that. My sister was like, My sister was like, I want to meet my baby sister and I want to show her a Ruby 10. Okay? Rubies are the highest level in, in Hollywood. Ten is like the extreme highest. Okay. So, my sister and I, we had a falling out. The day I met her, we had a falling out. Because I thought she was trying to get predatorial on me. So, Jennifer ended up getting smoked at Silverstone. And then another double got smoked a uh, couple nights ago. She was getting stabbed up. Okay. Any of you other Jennifer Banco lookalikes that are out there? Yeah, I'm here. And it'd be my sister's wish for one of y'all to be with me. Stay with me. Make sure I'm on my meds. Make sure I'm eating okay. Make sure I'm taken care of. That's what my sister ordered you guys to do. And that's what, goddamn it, I expect you to do. And goddamn it, she expects you to do the same fucking thing. And if you don't, she's rolling around in her grave if you don't do it. And I'm fucking hurting if you don't do it. I'm wearing an I Heart Jennifer t-shirt. I wouldn't get no other t-shirt other than I Heart Jennifer. Because I love my sister that much. So, if y'all fucking, um, if y'all doubles with Jennifer fucking are taking me into consideration, good. You're doing the right thing by Jennifer. Help me get my mind off my sister, so that way I'm not looping up with it, and come be with me. You'll see, I ain't trying to get you in bed. You'll see that, uh, I'm trying to make us succeed with a card game career and a movie career. Okay? You want to be a real actress? Come learn the lessons from me. We'll put, we'll turn it into a clean documentary, and you can tell my sister's story. I'm sitting there crying.
Why do good things have to happen to bad people? Or why do bad things have to happen to good people? Was like right here saying, don't worry, Eddie, everything's going to be okay. Yes, <laughs> would you mind sending one of your doubles to be with me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Thrill. Thrill me. <laughs> when I say I love somebody, I mean it. Not a joke. The one that I want to be with now is in a, is in a city in California. It's a rich in city on a yacht. And I need to be with you. You need to come up and see me. I'm not doing okay right now. I'm not doing okay. Dude, I'm dealing with my sister's death. You're her double. You need to come be with me. You make sure that I'm taken care of. You make sure I'm on my meds. You need to make sure I'm eating healthy. You make sure that I'm cutting back on the energy drinks and cutting back on the smoking. Literally, you're the only thing that can get me to quit smoking. But in order to do that, you got to come be with me. Gotta give me a chance. And then you will be my precious fur fur. Why'd you do it? Why'd you why'd you why'd you get Jennifer whack? At least she was a good person. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it other Jennifer? What, because you're jealous of her? Because she was healthy? And I didn't understand the facts. Why'd you fucking do it? You owe me and Jennifer now. If you don't do it, same thing gonna happen to you that happened to her. I don't want that to happen to you. That's why I'm saying you need to come up and make things right. Well, I guess. Guess what? This is like I'm supposed to live in pain. I'm sure one of you women out there that's thin and petite with blonde hair can come and be with me. Take care of me. I'll take care of you. We'll fucking provide for each other. Give it a chance. I'm not a bad person. I don't do bad things. Or if not, then I guess I'm not loved by anybody. Well, that's the way it is. Now I'll tell you, I'll tell you who I want to be with. I want to be with Alicia Renee Burns. She's four years older than I am, than her. She'll be good for me. I guarantee it. 
and she's not predatorial in any way, shape, or form. She thinks like me. She thinks clean. She thinks clear. She goes to church. Send her to me. So make everything right. And sis, there will be no sleeping together, like romantically. We're going to sleep in the same bed, but you're going to hold me all night. Make sure that I'm right. And sis, I kick in the night. I bite in the night. I'm not trying to hurt you. But yeah, understand. I have fucking tremors, tremendous nightmares and shit at night after everything that I've seen and been through. Well, I might be laying there, I'll yell out somebody's name. Understand that it's fucking not, it's, that's not me. That's the dream world where I'm not fucking protected. It's a Freddy Krueger world that I'm not protected in. There's too many Freddy Krueger's fucked me up early on. And that is bullshit. I need somebody to come in today and replace Jennifer. She's unreplaceable, but that's the only thing that I can think of to put it to you in terms that you would understand. I need somebody that will get my mind off of Jennifer. Make it be like a Lisa, or make it be like a uh, Alicia, or make it be like a Sarah. Something without Jennifer's name. Something that's not going to make me cry. When I say, hey, sis, you are so-and-so. Then I want to be with somebody good. Somebody pure and wholesome and holy. I want to be with somebody who wants a life. Wants a good life. I want to be with somebody like that. Somebody who will say, no, nah, that's okay. I understand you had a flashback. Somebody who's really understanding like that. I have flashbacks a lot. I'll be sitting there and be like, what the fuck? And, uh, yeah, I do that shit because it's flashback. I'll be sitting there just fine. And then all of a sudden, it's, what the fuck? And freaking, yeah, all the videos and stuff that I recorded where you're like, this is not her. Who the fuck is this person? It's because I'm having a flashback. Okay. I got human traffic down to Vegas and shit. I have fucking flashbacks. I'm not a bandana. I'm a person. I'm not a bandana. And I have flashbacks a lot. All the time I'm having flashbacks. Okay, so if I make a mistake in, intimately or otherwise, understand it's a fucking flashback. I will be sitting there making love, and then all of a sudden I'll have a flashback, and then all of a sudden, I'll, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I start crying. Okay? They're like, dude, take it easy. You weren't rough. Take it easy. I'm like, no, I had a flashback. I can't help it. Look, I understand. You didn't hurt me. Chill. You had a flashback. Okay? I'm very gentle, but if those flashbacks come in, I'm thinking I'm being hard and I'm not even hurting the person and, and I'm ready to break down in tears and start crying. Okay. That's what's hit that's what's been hidden. I've been so afraid to admit it. Because I don't want anybody to think anything less of me. But yeah, I have flashbacks. I need somebody calm, delicate, and gentle that will fucking deal with my flashback issues. Okay, somebody that will say, You need to go take your meds. It's eight o'clock in the morning. You need to be, go take your meds. It's not. It's eight o'clock at night. And I go okay. 
Hey, hun, you're on the corner store. You don't need to be buying them energy drinks. Try this apple juice. Okay. Fuck with the energy drinks back and I grab the apple juice. I'd like to get a pack of camels. No, you don't want camels. You want a vape. Yes, dear. Give me a vape, please. It's exactly the response that you would get. I'd like a pack of camels. No, dear. You'd like a vape. Okay, uh, put the camels back. Give me a vape. Good. Somebody who will keep me healthy. Somebody that will be understanding and empathetic. Somebody that has sympathy. Somebody who knows how to deal with disabled. Somebody who knows how to deal with mental retardation. Somebody who knows how to say, that's okay, you had an accident in your pants, I understand. Instead of fucking laughing at me. I need somebody like that. Because I have minor mental retardation. That's why it's not proven. Is because it's so minor. It's only accidents in my pants. That's a, that's the extent of my mental retardation. And very slow thinking. I wish nobody harm. I mean nobody harm. At, at any time. All that shit. Fucking flashbacks. Because they did that shit in front of me. And tripped me the fuck out. But every now and then. I get in a mode where I'm like. Uh, uh, because. Fucking they were doing that shit to me. If somebody gets done, I don't want to know about it, see it, hear it. Nothing. If you're going to do somebody, fucking take them three miles down the road and do them and make sure I don't hear any peep out of them in the process of it being done or it being done. It will freak me the fuck out. <sighs> All right, so I'm trying to be on the best behavior. I'm trying to do right. I'm trying to live right. I'm trying to live healthy. And uh, I'm trying to be Christian. I'm trying to be healed. And right now, I ain't got nobody. I ain't got nobody. I don't have no friends. I don't have anybody that cares. Many of y'all care about me. I care about you more than you care about me. All you care about is the videos that I'm producing. Oh yeah, then come visit me. If you really care, and you're really there, and you're really a true fan, come fucking visit me. i love to meet one of my fans. Ain't none of y'all gonna do it. You know why? Because it's all about you, 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 you. You know my location. King's Motor in Fife. Room 223. You're a straight lace thinker. You're not involved with gangs. You're not involved with drugs. You're not involved with alcohol. you about my age. Fucking will call me like 21 right now. If you're about that age, come visit me. And I prefer it to be a female because females are calm, delicate, and gentle with nurturing, healing, uh, compassionate ways. That's what I need right now. I need somebody sit on the bed with me, spaced out about that far apart. And say, it's okay, you can cry on my shoulder. That's what I need right now. I don't need institution. I don't need jail. That All that's going to do is piss me off. What I need right now is love. And understanding. If any of y'all can do that, that'd be great. I'd love to have some true friends. Uh, for my friends to be my fans. Because y'all mean everything to me. My mom just wants to make sure I'm alright. My mom just wants to make sure that I'm okay. She wants me to pick somebody new. And I don't want to. If I had to pick somebody new, sending Gwen Stefani or send in freaking uh, Christian Stewart. Christian Stewart would be the better of the two. The one with the flat top, that Christian Stewart would be the better of the two. 
because I'm attracted to that because it's military minded and military mentality. So we can talk about our combat affairs to each other. Like, this is what I went through in war. This is what I went through in war. Okay, how'd you get through this? How'd you get through this? Well, I did this and this and this to get through your specific issue. Now, how do I get through mine? Okay, you got to do this and this and this to heal from that combat veteran affair. And then we, we bounce ideas off each other. We help each other. We heal each other. That's what a relationship is about. It ain't about getting closed off right from get-go. No, that comes way, way, way later on. When you're so comfortable with somebody that you could take a shit in front of them, that's when lovemaking should happen, not before then. Okay? When you feel so comfortable with your body, right now I'm embarrassed by my body. I don't want anybody to see my body. I'm overweight. I'm pregnant. And, uh, yeah. I don't want anybody to see that. A lot of people say you've got a gorgeous body. I'm like, no, quit looking at my body. I wear a big baggy shirt. I wear spandex, but I'm wearing a fucking big baggy shirt on over the spandex. Not because I got anything to hide. No, because I'm ashamed of my body. And I wear a leather trench coat everywhere I go. Why? Because I don't want people to look at my body. My body's ugly. It's not something to be attracted to. It's ugly. I got blotches all over my skin and shit. No, hell no. I don't want to be seen like that. I ain't like that. I ain't cut like that. Anyways, any y'all can do it. Uh, come visit me. Maybe bring me, if you're Hollywood, bring me some signatures. Memorabilia. Bring me a copy of Friday the 13th. Part 7 New Blood. Poltergeist Part 2. Blair Witch Project Part 2. Look at shadows. I miss you, sissy. <laughs> I don't think you guys will. I. Right.